this jute twine is a great item to have for all kinds of different applications. It comes in a roll like this. You can get it like this one came for a dollar, like Dollar General or something like that. You can go to Walmart, you can get it at different places. Uh, it usually comes like this. Uh, one of the things like I showed you at the very beginning that you can use it for is that tinder bundle. All right, it usually comes in a twist, uh, then you have to untwist it. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but the rewards are is a nice uh, fluffy tinder bundle that works very well with your uh, your coal producing fire methods like a uh, flint and steel like I showed you or hand drill, bow drill type stuff. So it works really, really good for that. Great resource for that. If you take it and you get a little bit of beeswax, you can just take it and run beeswax through it. It takes several times. You'll be able to tell once it gets a good coating on it. It actually makes it even uh, a little bit more extended type fire starter. Right? And this beeswax, you can get it all over. Um, get it on eBay. They get it pretty cheap on eBay. I do a lot of stuff on eBay still, so I know some people don't, but I do. But this ends up working. Let me get my lighter to work. You make a bundle of it. And you can get that going, it'll crawl right up there eventually. Something else you can get is more of a commercial. This came out of a Swiss military kit. Um, it's kind of cool. I can take that and make it into a little bundle like that. And then from there, and this is wax jute as well. We can light it all on fire at once. A little windy. But you can get a pretty good fire starter to get going. Once all those strands get going, you can take that and push it right down into your pile of shavings or whatever it is that you're working with. Um, it works pretty darn good. Now storing this stuff. Let me put some of this, get some of this stuff out of the way here. Storing this stuff. One of my favorite ways to store it is right on a knife sheath. Right? This is some of that uh, stuff from the Swiss military kit. This happens to be the, the Bushcraft USA knife. I'll be doing a review on it later, but it came out pretty cool. Uh, made by LT Wright. You can check that out over at bushcraftoutfitters.com too. Uh, but I just do a real quick whipping on there, a wrap. Did the same thing with this one. Um, and this was happens to be a sheath that is actually made to store cordage. And this is from Sagewood Gear. Um, Brian Gustad over there, he's a real good dude up there in northern Minnesota. So you can check out some of his stuff too. Um, but that's a couple different ways to store it. You can also store it on your axe, okay? Um, this is really heavily waxed. It also can create a little bit of a bumper from if you have some mishaps with it. And this happens to be a Baco. Uh, pretty cool little axe. Use it a little bit. I'm still like my wetterlings the best, but this Baco is a pretty solid little ax too. I cleaned all the, the crap off of it, put boiled linseed oil on it, cleaned all the paint off of it, and pretty solid little user for, you know, 30, 40 bucks. Another cool thing that you can do with it, which I really, really, really like, is wrapping handles with it. Okay? Uh, the first person I saw do that was Rick Marshland, and he does um, Wilder Tools. Uh, after that, there's been some people who have done it. Brian Sargent does a really nice job on it. This is obviously one of the uh, sear shettes, sear shets, and uh, it's got a super solid wrapped handle on it. You'd think it'd be really rough, but it's not. He uses an epoxy on this, and it impregnates it. He also dyes the, um, the jute twine as well and puts it on there. And this stuff is a solid, solid wrap. It makes it really grippy, especially when it's wet or muddy. And when we're using this a lot in the mud and stuff, it helps out a lot. Uh, same thing, this is one of Brian's knives as well. It's like an ultralight knife I had him made for me. Did a really, really nice job on it. I really like this knife. Um, super thin, Scandi, very awesome knife. Very lightweight, I didn't have him go micarta with it. Had him just go, uh, I think maple is on it. Stained it all up real nice, came out, came out really, really nice. And then, I've got my ghetto version of it but it's something that you can do as a project on your own and even though this isn't as pretty as Brian's or Rick's 
it still serves the same purpose. Uh, my little shank here, I use this all the time. It's just a great little user. Um, but you can see the handle on it's wrapped, very solid grip. I also like this larger handle with a smaller type blade on here. So anyway, this uh, this jute twine is a great asset to have, and I'm sure there's lots of different stuff that you can do with it, you know, that uh, I don't even talk about. But yeah, I mean, I got all kinds of good stuff in here that you can do with it. That finally burned out. Got your beeswax that you can use for tinder. So I mean, it's a great little product to have for a buck. It's a good thing to keep in a kit plus. In pinch, you can probably build a shelter with it and stuff like that, but I'd probably double it up and, and maybe braid it or, or twist it. And that's another thing you do is practice your natural cordage uh, methods with it. So take a look at it. Good stuff to get uh, and screw around with.